Hey everybody, Shane from Shane's Books and Review and Reason Services. It's going to be a busy day today. Let's get started. Now, things to do today. We have got a bookcase to get together that we're making from scratch, pretty much. A cable to run around the side of the room. And we'll see what else we can get into. Hmm. Just looks like a bunch of pipes, doesn't it? Uh, we've also got a mask going. Look at all that. But everything has a place. So what I'm thinking is down here and here, I'm going to replace these with two 12s with a three-way right about here for my cable to go up the back. And then this will come up, and the cable will come up through here, through here, out the side, which was actually going to be a shelf as well with a kickoff and a globe light. And then over here, we're going to do the same. Replace that with two 12s, a three degree or a three way. And so the cable can go out the back, up, over, and then right about here, there'll be a three way with the light coming off the side. And we're going to have another set up, up, and across with a three way that, when in place, should allow me to have a key light. Uh, and I'm going to use something akin to Philips Hue. We'll do a review on that and then see what we think about it. After we get this assembled, then pretty much all that will be left on this part anyway will be hunting for wood. Let's jump to some time lapse. As is the case with most anything, as I was building this, things changed. At the base, the thing did change a little bit, but I got it to the same height that I wanted, and let's zoom in. down here at the bottom it's got the three-way so we can get our cable out it will go up the pipe across the pipe up over up and at this point we will need to have a 10 inch with a three-way 24 inch running across the top into a 90 and that 90 will be right about here, and it will run up just the same through a 24 into a 90 at the top of the molding, and then it will run across through. And right about where that fire alarm is hanging on the other side of the wall will be a three-way, which will have a 12-inch pipe off of it, going into a 45, and into these little guys right here. Now, 
It took some convincing to find these parts because at the local parts store, as soon as they figured out that this was electrical and I was using iron pipe and steel pipe, they got really upset with me, but I was like, look, I'm only running a cable to two cables through. I've got 20 years experience running cables and I know to ohm things out before I hook it up to electric so I can make sure I don't have a short. Now, I need to get the rest of my stuff together take what I didn't need back and get the rest of the things that I did need that I didn't know I needed. We'll run the cables and then we'll get this little light assembly put together and then we'll get the little tripod light that I had over here and then that should be very well lit. We'll find out though, won't we? Off to the parts store. Hey there. I don't know if you can see this. Look at that. We just got rid of snow. Check this out. On the ground, right? No snow. I don't know what weatherman is responsible for this, but I think I'm gonna have a talking to him. So we're here, now, let's go inside. All right, I hope you guys remember what I needed. I think it was a 10 inch, two 12 inches, two eight inches, and then two more 12 inches. I left my phones out in the truck where it's snowing. I ain't going back. Before we go, how about we go get some food? Taco Bell, this is a note to you. I just stood in line for 11.50 to 12.09 before anybody waited on me. Just waiting almost 20 minutes for somebody to not only not acknowledge me, but finally come up and take my order. But what was wrong was the management there. Holy crap. It's going to be a while before I come back here. Anyway, back to the office. Let's get this bookcase together. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we're back. I got the stuff that we need, and we're going to finish that guy up. Now that we have that, because it would be incredibly difficult if I cinch everything down, I'm going to go ahead and get my wiring in place. Now you'll notice that my wires here and here still have some of the catting on them. There's a reason why I do that. It's so that, one, I don't twist the wires, which is against UL code. It makes for a much neater connection. So when you bring everything together, you don't have to worry so much. Now, in the meantime, I used my voltmeter that has a home built into it to find out if on any of my plugs, a pipe, or with the switches in an on or off position, if I had anything shorted out. Because whenever it comes to a little project like this, you got to make sure that you pay attention to your details. At each one of these joints, I had to pull every bit of cable I needed to get out of the bottom so I babied it, I took my time for instance it's now 2.33 p.m. and it was 12.30 when I started this so it took me two hours to pull that cable cumulatively speaking 15 feet for each line but now I don't have to undo anything and it's been done and I know that there's no shorts so I can plug it up without fear of a nice explosion and kicking off the breakers for everybody in the building. Just make sure whenever you do something like this you follow the instructions that comes with things use a little bit of common sense and if there are any safety manuals you read them. Let's get this guy up on the wall. Let's get everything leveled out and we'll get it plugged in, we'll get our lights hooked up, globes installed, we'll check it out see what it looks like 
And there we go. The shelf mounts are in place. Now to just tidy everything up. And then to put my other lamp in. Yay! Fancy, huh? I will take the stickers off, but what do you guys think? Oh, by the way, nobody's gotten a hold of me yet about the color choices. If you don't pick soon, I'm going to pick. Look at this. Isn't that a cool little light bulb? LED, but it looks like an Edison bulb. It makes me think of a show that I watched with my kid about a cat and a bummer. So there we go. There's our chair, there's our table, our soon to be bookcase, a little light for a key. Granted, you will be over here. Let's go do some shopping.